know it can't just be me who is so interested in unique pieces to add into a wardrobe. Things that can take a dress and make it go from extra to extraordinary. This is why I'm always searching Pinterest for inspiration and getting great ideas to recreate for myself. Things I can add into my studio wardrobe to take hella cool photos in. And that's why this week I'm making this. There are several ways I could go about making it. I could use hot glue for all of it, wire it all together, and then use clay for some portions of it to cover it up, use beads to create the look, or buy some warbler and do it that way. After hours of researching and video watching, this is what I've decided might be the best options. So I'm thinking the plan will be to use wire to create the base frame of it, and then tape that up with electrical tape, and then foil the outside of it to create a little bit more of a seamless look, and it will also allow everything to flex and move and as necessary if I need to flex and move anything. So uh, let's get to it. This project seems fairly simple, but it's usually the simple projects that somehow are the hardest. So I'm really hoping for the best here. I'm also not the best at working with wire. I get frustrated with it really quickly and tend to pick other ways to complete a project than using the wire. But since I need this to flex and move, I really don't see any other way. It is all tipped up and now it is time to add some foil. I'm going to add some foil around the ribs to give it the right shape and dimension that I'm looking for. I will add as much foil as I can to kind of give it the right shape. I'm also going to try and do it as smoothly as possible, but I think that's going to be a little tricky. And it was tricky. That foil was not about living a smooth life. And I honestly gave up about halfway into the first one because I realized that wasn't going to happen. But I tried my best to make it as nice as I could anyway. To fix that though, I grabbed some masking tape and taped it all up for a very nice smoother look. Okay, so I have this all taped up and ready to go. The only big thing that I did in terms of changing the design for everything is I had this piece kind of here so it would have been like a connector piece to your neck so it would have continued down. I thought that looked super weird so I cut it off so it's just the rib cage portion so there's nothing going up any further than it was before. So that is the only change that I made but other than that everything is taped up, it looks good. The big thing that I'm not loving is the fact that you can see the wraps of tape. And I'm going to test and see if it's possible to fix that by putting hot glue over everything and kind of like smoothing it out. I also think it'll just help with stability of everything just, just because tape occasionally like this like comes off when it gets warm. So I don't want that to happen. I want it all to be nice and flat, especially once I'm going to paint it. So I'm gonna try and smooth everything over with some hot glue. It could work, it might not work, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> This feels so much more stable now since putting the glue in here and it's still very bendable like I can bend it flat if I wanted to and reposition it to be however I need which is wonderful and what I wanted so super satisfied with that. The next step I think is to get it painted because I think I've decided to connect everything together that I'm just going to use some ribbon so I'm going to get this painted gold or some color, some color that I have, probably gold, and uh, try to attach the back once it's dry. Just kidding, no I'm not. Just kidding because as I put my first layer of paint onto this, I can clearly see so many like glue lines and I wanted it to be a smooth transition. And I like the way that it was all coming together but I hate the way that you can see some of this glue and I don't, have the patience to fix it all. So I am instead grabbing tons of different foam scraps and what I think I'm going to do, I already kind of tested it out, is just put some foam over this and I'm going to try my best to do it as seamlessly as possible. I realize that here and on the edges it's not going to it's not going to do that very well, but I'm going to try and then I'm going to paint it so that it is nice and smooth. So tiny step backwards, hopefully not that much more work, and then I can spray paint it and call it a day. So that's what we're gonna do now instead. 
Remember when I said that small projects are sometimes the hardest? Well, this is officially one of those projects. I got all of the foam onto it, painted it, and realized I really hated it. And since it was 4th of July week, I didn't plan on being in the studio after that day, so I took everything home, ripped off all of the foam, leaving behind a ton of carpet tape that I used to put it on with, and then chose to wrap it with some gold ribbon. It took about two hours extra, but it looks so much better and far less chunky. Well, I finished it. Are there things that I want to change about it? 100%. I'm not loving, like 100% loving the final outcome. But if I was to do this again, I think that I would forego the hot glue step because that just took too long and I obviously didn't need to do it. Um, and I would just make it with the intention of it all being in foam. And I think that it would be put together a lot differently that way. Um, or I would just make them in different sizes and use foam clay. That way it all could be smooth and pretty and it wouldn't be a big deal. But I think that for what I ended up doing, it looks fine. And if there are any issues, I think I can just Photoshop them out if I use it in a shoot. So not a big deal, just a an small annoyance. But every single project is always a learning experience. <laughs> But that's all I've got for today. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of this or what you would do differently. And I will see you next time.